In this video, you will learn how to navigate the transmitter's menu screen and the functionality of each menu item. To navigate the transmitter menu, momentarily press the power key to enter the menu. Use the up or down keys to scroll through the menu options. Press the measure key to enter the options submenu. Use the up or down keys to scroll through the submenu options. Press the F key to confirm selection and return to the previous level or exit the menu. Press the power key briefly to return to the main operation screen. The menu items available are volume, Bluetooth, Max V, model, Max P, battery, Opt F, language, boost, and frequency. To change the output volume of the transmitter, select the volume menu item. To enter the menu item, use the measure key. To change the volume output level, use the up and down keys. Then use the F key to confirm the desired volume output level. The next menu option available is Bluetooth, which is displayed on the screen as BT. In this menu, you have four options, which are on, off, pair, and reset. To pair your transmitter with your locator, scroll to the pair option and use the F key to start the pairing process. You will only need to pair with your locator once, and when the pairing is complete, a pairing icon will appear on the screen and the Bluetooth icon will stop flashing. The reset option will clear the current pairing between your transmitter and locator. The on and off options allow you to activate or deactivate the Bluetooth connection on the transmitter as you wish. The Max V menu item allows you to change the output voltage from low to high. As a safety feature, the transmitter will always power on in the low voltage option. When using the high output option, a warning triangle will appear on the screen to remind you to take extra care due to the high voltage output now being generated by the transmitter. This feature will only work when the direct connection leads are plugged in. The model menu allows you to tell the transmitter which locator model you are using. This will match the frequency outputs available on the transmitter to the frequencies your locator can detect. To select your locator model, use the up-down arrows to scroll through the menu and use the F key to select and save the correct locator model. The language option allows you to select your preferred language. The frequency option allows you to enable and disable frequencies. To disable a specific frequency, use the measure key to enter the submenu and use the F key to select on or off. Note that the frequencies you will see in this menu will reflect the frequencies available on the locator that you selected from the model menu item. The Max P menu option is used to set the maximum output power level of the transmitter. You can choose from 1 watt, 2 watts, 3 watts, 5 watts, or 10 watts. This will limit the transmitter to the output level that you select. This can be a useful safety feature when training a new user. The Boost menu option allows you to set the transmitter to its maximum power output level. If you select the On option, this will put the transmitter into continuous maximum output. You can also set a time duration for the transmitter to remain in maximum output level by selecting the 5 minutes, 10 minutes or 20 minute options. The OptF menu option is only available when the direct connection leads are connected. This menu option has two options, Start or Exit. By selecting Start, the transmitter will automatically optimise the frequency output to the application it is being used for. This feature is useful for beginners or anyone who isn't sure on the best frequency to apply to the utility you are trying to locate. For more information on how to use radio detection products, always refer to the user manual or contact Radio Detection to find out more about our training courses.